Hello, this is Todd Luck, and this is going to be an overview of the most faithful error of Tarzan movies ever done, the silence movie error. This is actually how Tarzan began on the big screen. And so I'm going to be going over a checklist of the movies that I'll put in the comments below, and it's also going to give you a preview of reviews I'll be doing in the coming months on each of these different films. And so the first Tarzan movie was in 1918. Tarzan was actually a new property at that point. The first appearance of Tarzan in a pulp magazine was 1912. Tarzan the Apes was published as a novel in 1914. Burroughs was still alive. The new novels were still coming out. It was just a very, very different era. These movies are not just based on the concept of Tarzan that Burroughs had in the novels, but most of them are actually direct adaptions of the novels themselves. However, I don't want you to think that this is going to be an age of nothing but flawless Tarzan movies. Uh, let me set expectations. First of all, these are black and white silent movies. So we're talking that them flashing up a sentence every few minutes in order to try to communicate the story, which can be very challenging when you're trying to adapt a novel. These are very early movies. They were still trying to figure out what a movie was at this point. Technology of the time is very limited. And of course, it is a movie adaption, so the sensibilities of the filmmakers have a lot to do with how faithful or far removed it is from the source materials, as do the sensibilities of the time. One thing you'll probably notice is that Tarzan does look very different in these old silent movies. It would take them a while to figure out what the look of Tarzan should be on the big screen. And perhaps the biggest issue is that these are old movies that have not been preserved very well. And so the ones that survive, you're going to see a lot of deterioration on. And unfortunately, they are old movies, and a lot of them have not been preserved very well. And so they are in the public domain, but when you look them up on YouTube, oftentimes they are deteriorated to the point where it is almost impossible to make out what's going on on the screen. And that's why I ended up getting these from Grapevine Video, because this is a company that is presumably going to find a, as good a copy as they can to put on the DVD. And they also do stuff like they'll they'll tint the image to make it easier to see and stuff like that. So this is definitely better than you know what you're going to see on your average YouTube copy. And so let's get started with our list. So the very first Tarzan movie in 1918 was Tarzan of the Apes. This is a DVD with a double feature with another movie. But obviously the main attraction here is Tarzan of the Apes starring the very first screen Tarzan, Elmo Lincoln. So the really interesting thing about this adaption is it ends halfway through the movie and you're like, why did they do that? Well, that was because it was part one of the adaption. I know that seems crazy, you know, multi-part adaptions of novels in movies is something we associate with modern movies like Harry Potter, which actually is a pretty good analogy of what Tarzan was like at the time. But yes, they did a two-part adaption of Tarzan and the Apes. The second movie was called The Romance of Tarzan. And the very bad news that I have to break to you is that you cannot watch it. It is lost to time. It does not exist. Like I said, some of these movies were not preserved very well, and that is unfortunately one that did not make it to the present day. So the very next movie came out in 1920, and it was an adaption of Return of Tarzan, the second novel in the Tarzan series, and it was called Revenge of Tarzan. Unfortunately, it is also lost to time and no surviving copies exist. However, in 1921, a follow-up movie adapting the last half of the novel came out called Adventures of Tarzan. Now, this was originally released as a 15-chapter serial. There are no surviving copies of all 15 chapters. However, there is a 10-chapter uh, version of it that does exist on YouTube, and I'll link to that in the comments in the description below. Uh, however, this is the shorter feature film version of that. It's kind of cut down to like an hour, I think, and so that's the one I'll be reviewing. Now, if we can step back to 1920 for one second, 
there was a Tarzan movie that came out that year that did survive, and that is The Son of Tarzan. This was a serial that adapted the fourth Tarzan novel, Son of Tarzan. I've already done a review of this. This is a, a great, great adaption of that novel. All right, going forward to 1927, we have Tarzan and the Golden Lion with James Pierce's Tarzan. So I haven't watched this all the way through yet, and I'll be able to tell you more when I do my review, but my impression is this is far, pretty far removed from the novel, even though it has a few of the same characters. One thing worth noting is that it does have pre-Frankenstein Boris Karloff in it. However, Boris Karloff is playing a villainous native, so he is in blackface. Um, I know that's offensive now, but it was a common practice at the time. However, most Africans in Tarzan movies are portrayed by black actors. In 1928, Tarzan the Mighty was released, and it used some of the elements from Jungle Tales of Tarzan in a completely new story. However, it is another one of those films that, say it with me kids, is lost to time, and there are no surviving copies. However, one movie I'm very glad that survived, and it's actually in pretty good shape, is Tarzan the Tiger in 1929. This is a serialized adaption of Tarzan and the Jewels of Opar, complete with law. It's got Frank Merrill as Tarzan, and I really enjoyed it when I watched it uh, probably about a year or two ago, and definitely looking forward to watching it again for the review. And that's it for the silent movies, but since we're talking about a era that tried to bring the Tarzan of the novels to the big screen, I wanted to throw in the very last time that was tried during this time period, and that was the New Adventures of Tarzan, starring Herman Bricks as Tarzan. And so this was a 15-chapter serial that was released in 1935, and what I have here are two feature films that were cut from it. Uh, I believe this is probably part one and part two. The second part is called Tarzan and the Green Goddess. And by the way, you can watch this entire serial for free on Tubi. This is a completely new story, but Burroughs was very involved in this movie, and this is probably the closest that you're going to get to his vision of what Tarzan was like on the big screen. And unfortunately, there was just a lot of struggle and a lot of things went wrong making this movie, and there was a lot of drama behind the scenes. Honestly, the story behind the making of this movie serial is more interesting than the movie itself. Honestly, someday I hope to see this as one of those historical fiction movies just because it's so dramatic. I mean, this was the last attempt to bring Burroughs Tarzan to the screen. I mean, after this, it, it was done, right? You know, MGM's version of Tarzan, you know, the me Tarzan sort of movies just became synonymous with that character on the screen for decades and decades. And it really wouldn't be until the 80s that we would see a real serious attempts at doing Burroughs adaptions in the Tarzan movies. And so that's it. I've already done a review of the Son of Tarzan Blu-ray, and so you can check that out, and I'll be doing reviews of all these other movies in the coming months. So like and subscribe for more videos, and until next time, see ya.